What's going on, y'all? So, on the Subaru, today I'm going to be, uh, I might actually get to pulling this thing out today. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get the coolant crossover out of the way. To do that, I need, uh, there's two 10 millimeter bolts, one here and one back there. Got the Corbin clamps for the heater core hoses. Uh, I got to pull those off and then get those two bolts out. That should all come right out. After that, I'll move on to the, the starter. So bear with me just a minute. Okay, so the coolant crossover's out. As you can see, you had the bolt there, the bolt there, to one of the two heater coat, heater core hoses goes to it. The other one goes to this right here. So next for the starter, you've got uh, behind this connect, this cover is the positive, and it's a 12 millimeter nut. There's a connector as well right back here get that off I'll get it off in a second and then the 14 millimeter on there and there that attach it to the uh, bell housing uh, I'll get cranking on that and I'll be back and I'll show you once I get it off the car all the stuff that hooks up to it okay so the starters out as like I said there's a 12 millimeter here don't forget to watch for that lock washer uh, mine did fall off but it went straight to the ground so uh, no big deal there uh, I also here's the 14 millimeter that go to the bell housing these two this is a 12 millimeter for the ground strap I went ahead and took it off to get it up out of the way um, not that big of a deal there so if y'all give me a minute i'm gonna set up and probably start um uh, thinking about what i'm gonna do next i mean pretty much all i gotta do is undo the motor mounts and the uh, start doing the bell housing i also need to get the uh pin out for the uh throttle bearing so i'll be back in a little bit once i get myself organized all right, so first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is do that slide pin, which is right back here. That you can't see when the starter's in, but it's right there. It is a size is this a 14 hex, 14 millimeter hex uh, Allen key. That'll loosen that. Once I get that in there, I'm going to find a bolt to thread in and pull that slide pin. <clears throat> should disconnect the uh, clutch arm once I get that done I'll come back and show you what that pin looks like when it's slid out okay so it's out as you can see the holes empty the clutch arm is free I got the spring in my hand so what I used uh, it's a typical 10 millimeter. I just used a spare one I had, but to avoid tearing up one of your uh, bolts, what I would do uh, if you need help figuring out which thread pitch it is, you could use one of your coolant crossover bolts to go. I would just get, I would go get a different bolt, you know, from the hardware store so you don't tear up your bolts that you need for the motor. But that is out. I'm actually gonna leave that bolt threaded in there for now. So like, give me something to push against it. Uh, I'm gonna set this over here by the starter. <clears throat> then, let's see what's next. So I pop the clutch arm off. Uh, as you can see, it's loose. The slave cylinder isn't kind of in the way, but I don't think it's really going to hurt much. Um, so what, what I got to do next is get all the bell housing bolts, the motor mount nuts. But before that, I really need to get the... I'll loosen the motor mount nuts next and then get 
the engine hoist connected up to it and I'll come back once I'm done with that okay so on the motor mount nuts there's one here obviously it's a 14 and one right there I'll do those first it's not gonna go anywhere it's sitting on the they're sitting in there okay so as far as uh, bell housing bolts there's I've already got two of them are for the starter there's one right back up down in there then there's a stud right beneath it with a nut same thing over here two up top one right there and then there, the other stud is right below it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the two nuts off the studs on the bottom and then I'll go ahead and move on to getting the hoist hooked up before I start getting the uh, remaining bolts loose all right so from where I left off um, I got the two bottom uh, I got the two motor mount nuts off the nuts at the very bottom of the bell housing on both sides are off I did tweak the all the remaining uh, fly uh, bell housing bolts there's I got three left one, three on this side and one on the other side I did get the load leveler bolted up and so pretty much I'm ready to start pulling the motor out I just gotta undo the one fly, bell housing bolt over here and then the three over here I'm gonna of course get the engine hoist hooked up so I'm gonna put this on a time lapse for this part Okay, some word of caution. I have one, I mean, I kind of should have known better, but uh, as the motor leveled out, it started dumping even more coolant out. So, uh, just something to keep in mind. I'm gonna let it drain out before I run it up over the car. Uh, yeah, so all in all, that wasn't too bad getting it out. Um, just, you know, watching it. You know, making sure to jack it up enough to get the motor mount studs clear of the slots. And took a little prying to get it busted loose from the transmission, but not too bad. So uh, I'm going to be back. I'm going to get it jacked up over the front bumper. And I'll go over getting the clutch off and stuff so I can bolt the, uh, uh, get the case bolted to the, engine stand i'll be right back all right so got it out of the way i'm gonna go ahead and quickly take the clutch off and then the flywheel uh it's 12 millimeter bolts for the clutch uh i'll be right back Okay, so yeah, clutch was dusty. Um, yeah, it probably needed replacing anyway. All right, so next, there should be 14s for the flywheel. Yep. All right, I'm gonna get the 14s for the flywheel off real quick. Okay. 
so my little electric impact doesn't have enough torque. So let me find my ratchet. Put a little English on it. Okay. So I'm going to have to uh, get something to stop the motor from turning over so I can get enough torque on those bolts. Uh, I'm going to be back. Okay, so clutch and flywheel are off. Um, just had to get my, the I got that company 23 crank uh, pulley tool. I just threaded a couple of the big bolts into it so I can hold it while I broke each one of those loose. Um, not too bad. So I guess what I'm, I'm waiting on it to finish dripping coolant. I'm tired of it leaking every time I move it. Uh, as soon as it's done I'm gonna try and get it bolted up to the engine stand and I'll probably call it a day after that. So anyway uh, I'll once I get it bolted up to the engine stand, I'll show you what it looks like, and that'll probably be it. Okay, so after a little finagling, the engine is on the engine stand, as you can see. Um, this will probably can be it for that I do today. Uh, been knocking, rocking and rolling at it. I need. I'm gonna take a break, I guess. Um, probably either tomorrow evening after work or sometime this week we we'll, uh, might start tearing it apart I might just leave it until I have the other short block uh, still waiting on it still hasn't showed up so I guess that's probably gonna sit for a minute I might go ahead tomorrow or someday take the oil pan off just to see what I'm looking at because um, I'm still not you know debating on ordering some more stuff so anyway that'll be it for today and until the next video take care y'all